In this video, we show you how to access and download an application from Android Market or Google Play as it is currently being rebranded. So the name of this will depend on the time of you watching this video. Assuming the device is on, click the power button to take the device out of standby mode and unlock the screen if necessary. Now you may have an icon on your home screen to the market or you may have a link from your applications menu. Click market. Assuming that this is the first time that you've accessed the market, you will have to go through the terms and conditions. We can actually see here that the rebranding process is taking place and it's whilst the icon suggested market it's actually asking would we like to access Google Play. So you can read through those terms and conditions if you'd like and either decline or accept them. You will need to accept them to be able to access the market. So we're going to accept and it's going to load in here. You can then navigate the market in a variety of ways. You have some promoted applications here. You can go through to specifics such as applications and then we can scroll through and look by categories, by featured ones, by top paid for, by top free, top grossing. We can go back, we could go to movies and then we can go through a similar set of screens by scrolling through. We also have the option to search so if I was to type something in here I can search. Now what it's come up because I'm in the movies section it's searched the movies. If you're in the books it would search the books and if you're in the apps it would search the apps but you can then configure the results here as well. So if I now change the results to all it's now going to give me the apps with angry in it going to give me the books and it's going to give me the movies. So we're going to demonstrate an application so we click the application that we want. We do have the ability here to share it should we choose and we also have some more information such as my apps, accounts, settings, what have you. So at the screen it will give us some details on the application itself including reviews, some overview text. Then we can choose to install it by clicking the button. It will tell us what the app is going to use if we uh, download it. So it's going to use some storage space, it's going to read phone state and identity. If happy you can click accept and download and the download process will now begin. The amount of time it takes to download will depend on your connection. You can download over Wi-Fi or 3G. You'll get a status icon in the top bar and as you can see that's now changed to say it's installing Angry Birds. It's also changed on screen here as well. So that has now changed to, um, as has the icon up here. We've got a tick which means it's now installed. So we do have the option if we're still in the market to go straight to the app and click open. And that will now open Angry Birds application on the phone ready for me to play.